and we're going to get started. So everybody seated in a comfortable position. We are going to do, be doing our Labor Day yoga today. So thank you all for joining me on Labor Day. And we'll get started in our seated position. Just find what's comfortable for you. And so on down. Y'all have done beautifully. So just get into that for a moment. Think about the length through your spine. Relaxing into your seat. Slowing down for a moment, closing your eyes, focusing on your breathing. Think about letting space open up in the body and the joints, relaxing in the neck. Being aware of the thoughts that are going to creep up. Realize what it is that you're thinking about. Take a moment. Acknowledge it. And then set it to the side, focusing back to your breath, back to your body. Back to being present in this room right now and thinking about why you're here. You're on this mat, dressed in these yoga clothes. So you can be present for a few moments, really practicing that presence in mind, in body, and in spirit. Knowing that it is a practice, it is not going to be a perfect, it's going to be about reconnecting. So taking a few more breaths. Let's go ahead and switch the feet around. Whatever foot's on top, take it to the bottom. Whatever is the bottom becomes the top. Settling into that now. Opening up that space. Noticing the difference in the hip, how it sits in your knees, how it sits in your back. And it's not meant to be perfect. It's a practice. So connecting for a moment to the word union. Think about the word union. That is an interesting word for Labor Day. Because of unions, we have Labor Day. People were able to take today off. We don't get locked into our offices. We don't get locked into factories when we work. We're able to take breaks. So just be grateful for that union today. But also tap into the word union as in yoga, to yoke together, to bring together. Bringing yourself together in mind, in body, and in spirit. Also yoking us all together today, bringing us together as a group. So notice what yokes you to others, what brings that union into your life. Hands to the knees, let's lift up real big. We'll exhale over. <sighs> Surrender that. As we tip our head forward, think about all those excess thoughts just falling out of your head. Wiggle your head a little bit, just let them go. <sighs> Inhale, roll up. And as we roll up, let's take a moment to reset. Sit back into your body for a moment, but go into a straight leg position now. So we're going to work on what's called staff pose. I do recommend you grab the meaty part of the bottom, pull it out a little bit, and then find those sit bones, those triangular bones that point straight down. Set them into them. Get your toes pointing straight up. Turn them in toward each other. And then let them go. Taking a moment with that nice and tall through that chest, sitting back, hands out to the side. Now, if you can, sit into those fingertips, not releasing down, not hunching, not lumping forward, but really lifting up, using those fingertips to help lift you up a little bit taller. So take them out to the side if you have longer arms. I joke that I have T-Rex arms because... <laughs> I cannot palm the floor and stay straight up. So if you can palm the floor and stay straight up, take your hands a little further out to the side. So it's part of our body type. We have to be aware of what our body type is and respect and honor it. Don't try and look like your neighbor, but look like you. Awesome. All right. 
right? So we feel that. Now look all the way over to your right. Lift your left hand up. Or, and as you do, you're going to take your right palm down. You're going to reach over and across. Look at your right hand. And then look forward. And then look up at that left elbow. Pull that elbow back a little bit. <sighs> Lifting up and out. Reach up with both arms for a moment. And then dive forward over your legs. Hands go back and point your head out and between your feet. Look right between your ankles. And then sit up nice and tall. Back into that staff. So what works for you? Can you palm the floor if so? Just walk the fingers out just a little bit. We're all at a fingertip. So Miss Tammy, just take them out a little bit further. There you go. But go out to where you're not in your palm. Just there you go. Now we're going to tip it over. We're going to look at that left. We'll start to set it down as we bring the right up and we'll arc. So you're looking at your left hand and then you're going to look out in front of it. Then you're going to look up at your top elbow and roll that elbow back. Shoulders down, neck long. Lifting up. Shoulders are down again. Exhale, dive over it. Oh. Bring the chin in toward the hollow of the throat. Not toward your chest, but toward the hollow of the throat. Push out through the top of your head. Come up all the way. As we go up, take a moment, let that go behind you now. Your fingertips will point in toward you. Thumbs pointing toward each other. And we'll rest back. Lift that chest up, draw those shoulders back. Now as you push down through your palms, begin to lift up through your hips. Push through the backs of your legs and just hover for a moment. Breathe. Four, three, two, one. Let it down slow. Ooh, step back into your bottom, sit up tall, get those hips reset. And now, we're going to go from a staff to a crisscross. So, staff to easy seat. From here, try and balance without using your hands. Lift up, cross one leg over the other. If you can, put your left in front or on top. It's okay if you went the other way. We're going to go up, balance, out without slamming. Lift in, cross right over, and again, up and out, and forward, up, balance, in, <sighs> got to use that whole core, up, balance, down, no slam, good, up, cross, crisscrossing each time, going opposite the next one, should be left, crossing over, woo, good, two more. Again, crossing over with that right. Last set, and down. As we go up, get that left over. In. One more, balance, out, down, up and over with the right, and then go right over it. Take a moment, reset. Sit back into your legs for just a moment. Get toward the back end of your mat and give yourself room. And just settle in for a moment. Take a stretch. If you need to use a bolster, use a bolster. But just feel that connection. Try and get your butt to your heels. And now I want you to relax a little bit and tuck your tummy in. And as you do, notice more your butt touches more of your foot, right? It's like you just dropped your butt into the curved arch of the Inhale up, exhale round, not rounding down, but back, inhale up, and tuck back, one more, and take a moment, we're coming back to our center, come out on the all fours, We'll get into all four and we'll open up those knees a little bit. We'll waggle out our hips. Push into your fingertips. And just let it go. Now, looking over to your right, 
Take a nice deep breath and then exhale, bring your hip toward your shoulder. Crunch, look into the right. Inhale, go to the center. And over to the left. Pull that left hip forward, bring that left shoulder back. Back into your center. Inhale, up. Exhale, round. Classic cat-cow. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Tuck your chin in. Push through your shins. Push through your hands. Inhale, soften. Really push through your shins on your exhale. Push. Push through your fingertips. Push through your knuckles. Feel it squeeze in your belly button. And then rest. From this elbow position, I want you to take it nice and easy. Just push back one time, let your head drop. Your hands can go together, palms together, resting. And now we're gonna shift over our arms and we're gonna do a nice, simple um, elbow plank. So one hand down, then the other. Take one foot back. Then step the other foot back and drop your hips into that plank. Legs are about hip distance open, but not much wider. If you go too wide, you can lose the stability of the core, so be careful with that width. Push back into your feet. Oh. Drop your knees. Flatten out your shins. Drop down through your belly. Walk it out. And now we'll rest for the rest. Now, let's readjust. So first thing we're gonna do is turn your right toe under, lengthen the leg back and away. You'll turn your left toe under and then do the same thing. Just push your hip down and back. Now, nice and easy, upper body lifts. Lift your arms, lift your head. Then take your arms out to the side. Now, got it, fly. Spin the hands back, lift high. Look up and out in front of you. Draw the shoulders down away from the neck. Now hands come in front of us. Push into those hands and we're gonna lift up nice and steady. Oh, draw your shoulders back. Look up and then look forward. Now don't block out your elbows, y'all look good. Look over to your left. Feel your belly stretch. Draw your shoulders back. Look forward, look over to your right. Nice and easy, back to the center. And let it go, and as soon as you can lift your hands, lift your hands, <sighs> and keep breathing good. Lift the legs now. Lift the heels as high as they'll go. Now we're gonna exhale and drop it all the way down. So now we're kind of like in a big X shape. We got our arms and our legs out. They're kind of wide. They're not as wide as they can go, but they're opened up a bit. So now on this next round, we're gonna fly up and lift the head, lift the arms, lift the legs. We'll inhale, pull in, bring the heels together if you can, get those thighs off the ground, and then exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fly. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fly. Again. And hold. Just breathe. Squeeze up as high as you can. Hold four. Keep breathing. Three. Y'all look good. Two. And one. Let it down. Down legs. Bring them into the center. Bring the hands back toward the waist now. Make room beside of you for going up to a big up dog. So with a big up dog, wiggle your hips out a little bit. Roll the shoulders back. Lift that heart up. You should feel it stretching your belly. You should feel it stretching through the top of the thigh, just a little bit of the top of the hip. Now nice and easy, shift. Push down through your knees, lift your tailbone. 
Let your butt fall down and back. Rest back as far as you can. Just take a moment there. Settling into the body. Slide the hands back to the knees. Tuck them off. And we'll come up to a kneeling position now. So we'll start here just feeling the squat and then lift through those thighs. There we go. Now let's do a couple of those. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be tall and we're going to start to lean back. And then we're going to come back up. So let me see everybody with that good. Not going too far, but feeling it. Tightening up through the back a little bit, but not clenching so hard that you can't move. All right, leaning back a little bit. Look up, bring your right arm up. Breathe, take any tension out of your low back. Feel it in the thigh, feeling it burn a little bit. Come up and let go. Once again, lean back. Look up, left arm up. Breathe, forward. Lift it up, woo, and let it go. Wiggle it out a little bit, very good. Now, without using your hands, step forward right. Now, you have the option of putting your hand here or putting both hands on your knee. Both hands on the knee, turn your left toe under and go from low lunge to a high lunge. And then we just step into it. As you step into it, you shift your weight back a little bit. Get your legs, or your weight between the two legs. Lift up when you're ready. And just breathe. Shoulders are down. Feel the length of the spine. Feel the length through your shoulders, lengthening your neck. Coming down easy now, if you can, without slamming, drop the knee. If you need to hold, hold. If you can, no slam down and press back. Woo! Up nice and tall, we'll shift. Walk it out a little bit. Step forward, left foot. Go ahead and get a good step into that. Lean into it a little bit. What do you need? One hand down, both hands on knee, or hands at heart. When you're ready, Turn the toe down, press, push into it, feel that weight shift. Y'all look good, nice and strong. Reach up when you're ready. And find what works for you with your balance. Press into those feet, feel the length between the legs. Feel the openness in your chest, the openness in your heart. Coming down easy, no slam, hand to the knee if you need. Otherwise, set that knee down and sit back. Good, and all the way down. Just feeling that for a moment, good. Now, let's do a nice step and a turn. So this next one's gonna be a little different. We're gonna come up. We're gonna step left leg first. So left leg up. Your choice, hand down on thigh or prayer pose if you can. Step into it. All the way up. And then we're gonna turn. Awesome, as you do that, bring the hands down. Put them on your thigh, turn your toes out a little bit if you need to, give yourself some openness. Get low, wiggle out them hips a little bit. Now we're gonna drop the feet, hands down. And then we're gonna spin the feet. You're gonna go up on the ball of your foot and just spin your heel straight back and try and lengthen out through your back. Now, if you need to keep your knees bent, you need to keep the knees bent and you just kind of push the butt up and back a little bit. You'll feel that adjustment in the spine. If you can lengthen legs, lengthen them. So I'm gonna take a step back onto my mat and allow myself to lengthen out through my torso even. So do that if you can. Give yourself room good. Everybody's finding their placement. Awesome. Bring your right hand directly under your chest. Bring your left hand up, shoulder up to the sky. Lengthen out through the top of your head. Push back through your tailbone. Don't lean to either side. Stay right in the middle. Exhale. Dropping the left. Inhale again. Dropping the left. Inhale again. 
One more. And inhale. Bring the hand to the low back, twist a little deeper, lean back into it, feel it through the top of the head, and then turn. Walking it down, both hands to the floor, just kind of wiggle out your hips a little bit. Now into your center, left hand goes down. From this position, go ahead and lift your chest up. So even here, there's that extension, getting yourself away from your hand, and then the rotation, and then the length all the way up. Right hand to the sky, y'all look beautiful, strong, steady triangles. Here we go, twisting. <sighs> Inhale, four, exhale. Three, lift it, two, and all the way to the top. Hand to the low back, feel it lengthen, extend even more, and coming down. We go out those hips. Now, an easy turn. So you guys are going to look toward me and turn toward me with your left foot. So bend that left knee and turn that foot. Now what you're going to notice is the left heel pretty much lines up with your right arch. Right? Like they're kind of lined up in that beautiful little side. Come up on that side. Cartwheel it around. Good. Your front knee is pointing toward your left middle toe. You're reaching out over your left arm. You're looking, you're extending. Now, look back, make sure that arm's going straight. It's not over to the side, it's not way low, it's not way high. It's straight back from your shoulder. Looking to the front, finding that balance. Now let's go for a traditional triangle. You're gonna straighten the front leg and you're gonna bring the hand down somewhere on the inside of the knee or all the way down toward the floor, but you're pressing against your leg. You're not resting down. You're not letting the weight go out of the waist. You're keeping it engaged. Pressing the arm against the leg, but not resting on the leg. Coming out, bend the knee, lift up through your upper arm, tipping back into warrior two. Good, front knee is bent, back leg is straight. Cartwheel to the front, to that whole back side. It's going to twist around, balancing in that high lunge again. And then we're going to let it go down without slam. Good. On this one, extend all the way back. You're going to sit back on your back leg. Wiggle your butt right over that foot and arch. If you can, you're going to let your right foot cup your left cheek. That makes sense? It's almost cuffing the sits bone. So you're kind of going across and under. Got it? Good. And if you don't, you're doing the alternate where you're coming down and you're bringing that leg to the inside. So that's our alternate. Good. Love it. Everybody's finding what works for them from wherever you are breathing. If you can extend over it, tuck the chin in. And think about those crazy ducks outside. We got that chest forward and butt back. Chest going forward a little bit and butt tucking back, or extending and lifting back, I should say. Nice and easy. Exhale. And then get yourself out of it, however works for you. If you can, just roll onto that knee and then roll yourself around. And then some of you are just going to go straight from there, straight up and through. Turning it, extending. Good. Stepping forward. Now, let's do it a little different. Step back with your left. High lunge, coming up. And we turn. Awesome. Hands down to the knee. Wiggle it out a little bit. Get low. Alright, we're going to drop the hands down. Now go ahead and walk back on your mat a little bit. 
Take a minute to reset your feet. They're pointing straight forward. Got nice length through the body. Everybody's looking good. Lift up through the chest. Soften those knees. Now don't lean out so you're not having to lean to get there. Make sure your hands are up under you. Your weight is in your legs for the most part. Y'all look fabulous. Now let's look to that right foot. We're going to get as close to it as we can. So walk your left hand over and then your right a little closer, then your left a little closer. Find the place where you can get your left hand almost in front of that right foot. And then you just bring your right hand to the foot or leg somewhere. Can you touch your calf? Can you touch your ankle? Can you slide your hand up to your hip? And if you can, rotate back and look behind you. Good, coming around nice and slow, walking it down. Walking through the middle. Take a moment, reset the hips. Lengthen out. Look at the left foot and then walk to it. Take your time to get there. That's it, finding what works. That left hand goes either to the foot, the ankle, the shin, the knee, or way up on that hip. Rotate through the body, rotate through your ribs. Look up toward the sky as far as you can. Coming around to the middle. Lean in with one knee, so I'm going to bend my left knee, and I'm going to make sure that that left knee goes toward the left toes, not in or out. And then I'm just going to pull that right inner groin in and down. Lifting to the center, do the other side, bending of the right, pulling that left in and down. Good. Back into your center. Take a moment and turn towards your left foot. Turn it toward me. Find that warrior two. Cartwheel up into it, facing me. Your left foot is straight out. Your right foot straight forward. You're finding your balance. So let's see. There you go. Now your right foot should be the front one. There you go, y'all spin around that side. There you go. So all we did from here, you're just turning toward it and then coming up and around. And I saw it. We're there now. Lean back into it a little bit. Now our tendency is to get over that front leg and we want to get away from that. Get your shoulder over your hip and back a little bit into your body. There you go. Breathe. Look over that back line. To the front again and when you're ready triangle we're going to straighten that front leg you're going to tip over it and slide long down that leg look up toward the sky if you can pull that hand back doing good breathing not leaning on that leg but using the power of your sides now bend the knee and lift straight up and then carve Come around to the front. So that left leg's behind you. You're going to drop that left knee, and we're going to sit back on it. Same as we did the other side. We're either cuffing our opposite glute or bringing that foot in front. So if you're here, just bring it on there and in front of you if you need. All right, there we go. Making in the easiest transitions you can, the least amount of extreme movement that you can do. Awesome. Now imagine taking your head out, lifting that chest and pushing that butt back. Getting again that duck butt movement if you got it. And then we're going to come up out. Lift yourself up. Shift around any way you need to. Making it easy. Turn that back toe under. Lengthen. Press in. Step up. Reverse. Up. And extend. Shoulders down. Breathe. 
Now we're gonna dive again, over. So, pushing the chest forward, you got it. Don't lock the legs, but lengthen them, extend. Now look just in front of your mat. You're gonna soften the knees and get your fingertips down. So get them down however you can. Keep bending the knees until you can get all the fingertips down. Good. Now step back right, wiggle, 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 and then drop that knee. Step back left to the knee and bring that hand down. Hips are forward, so you don't want to be here if you can bring it forward and feel it in your belly. Push through the tops of your shins. Feel it in your tummy. You feeling it? Yeah. You feeling it? Good. Now, we're going to try and do what's called a chaturanga. You're not dropping your butt. Let me show you. You're going to drop the upper body. Your ribs come right beside you and you let your chest go down and you hover. All right, try it. Down, hover, child, wrong, elbows in, holding the ribs, elbows in, holding the ribs, and then dive forward over the arms, lift up, and shift back. Woo, let that butt drop. Let your elbows go. Soften your hands and your wrists. Just stay low in your child. This is a time where you can just let go and be for a moment. If you do need a drink of water at any time, make sure you're just taking small sips and no big gulps. <sighs> now, let's go out for a forearm balance. So we're gonna go out and over for a forearm plank, one hand, over the other clasp, bring the knees in, shift weight over arms, turn toes under, and extend, hold, stay low, four, get that butt down, 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 keep pushing those heels up, wiggle your feet back as you go a little bit further down, you got it, four, hold, three, two, one, drop your knees, Still in it, still holding, still feeling it in your tummy. Now nice and easy. Thighs down, oh, belly down, elbows walking. All right, to bring the hands down in front of you. <sighs> Working through, taking a moment on our belly, just feel your heart rate, feel your breath. Feel those tiny movements and pulses of the intestine. Even your esophagus is constantly squeezing and releasing. So just think about all these different little pumps and valves. And just send some gratitude into that body, into that belly, thinking about all the amazing processes that are happening. Now lift the head, bring the hands back, lift up nice and strong, up dog style, press into those hips, lift up through that chest, project that chest forward and up and pull those shoulders down. Now go into a down dog, so that's going to be turning our toes under, lifting our butt, Going straight up with the tailbone, finding that balance. Now nice and easy, look out at your hands. Come over your hands into a plank. We've done modified versions of it all night already. Now we're gonna do one full chaturanga if you can. Elbows in towards your ribs and you're gonna try and hover just above the ground. It's a challenge, sweet forward, lift up, and let it go. <sighs> let your head drop. Now, once again, shifting to all four, and walking it in. So take a moment, if you need to readjust anything, readjust. We're gonna start here on our hands and knees. 
we're going to turn our toes under. Now what we're going to be doing is working on our abs. So I want you to be able to draw your knees up and hold this positioning. Twist your knees over to the side. Come back to the center. Twist to the other side. Hover four, three, two, one. Back to the center and down. Oh, very good. Now, let's twist and we're gonna get over to one side and do some work. So we're gonna twist to the right. We're gonna drop down on that left hip and come right into this side positioning. Your knees are bent. Your arms right balancing you. You're leaning back into it. You're nice and tall. Now we're going to lift up and lift all the way up through our leg or our arms and our hips. Now we're going to extend that top leg out and just let it get away from you a little bit. Now feel the stretch. Let the top arm dangle over you. Now push the elbow away from you. Bend the elbow and push it away. You'll feel that stretch. Oh, push through your fingertips. Now push through your toes that are on the ground and feel that length all the way down that right side. Now turn, both hands down, drop the hips back into that side. Good. Now we'll come back down onto our elbow. So we went from a high one to a lower one now. We'll do the same kind of a lift. Okay, we'll lift up the hip, we'll lift up and breathe. Now while you're maintaining this hold, you are gonna twist your right arm down and through and look behind you. Then you're gonna lift up toward the sky. Now if you're feeling a lot of pain in your shoulder, keep going, but push your weight back towards your hips. Not down, but back towards your hips. Allow that twist and then come up again. So if anybody's having any shoulder problems, push your weight towards your knees. Get it out of your arm. You've got two more. And one more. And twist. And up. And down. Whoo! Rest. That was a good one. Now, back to the hands. Right toe in front or left. Yep. And then twist to your middle. Take a minute, twist to the other side, twist into the left, we'll sit down and then roll it on back into that side. Everybody's looking good. Remember this one is where we're just going to lift up and extend and then we're going to straighten that top leg out. We're going to bring the elbow to a bend and we're going to push it away. things moving, feeling the shoulders a little bit, feeling the upper body. We're going to widen our knees now and do a nice opening child's pose. So we're going to drop down low. Notice how I'm kind of wiggling between my thighs as I drop. It gives you more room. It gives you space to breathe. Once you're all the way down, you're going to get your chest to the ground, your head to the ground, your elbows down. Then you're going to bend your elbows and begin to bring the hands back behind the head. 
You're going to try and bring the hands together like a prayer pose at the back of the neck. Inhale, looking forward, shift. We're going to come back in the elbows one last time. With your hands one over the other in a nice strong position, you're going to do a down dog. Your hips are going to lift, but your elbows are staying down, and then you're going to drop your heels back. This is called the dolphin. So you've got your tail up. That's your fin coming up out of the water. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Let your head dangle. Your head might even touch the ground, but don't put weight in it. Let your shoulders roll back. Let your heels drop down. Even if they don't touch, they're dropping. Feel the stretch in your calf. Keep lifting your tailbone. Now lift your head. Look at your hands and then slowly drop to your knees again. Push back in child's pose again. Let everything drop. Surrender your arms. Surrender in. <sighs> nice and easy. Slide the hands back toward the knees. We'll tuck and roll. And all the way up. All right. So y'all just take a moment there. Swing those legs around in front of you somehow. You can crisscross over. So we already did one variation of the cross easy seat. So this time we're going to do a boat to a side seat. So we're going to come up. We're going to try and get a boat. And then we're going to take the legs over to one side. Notice how you sit into this position and then drop the hips back. So go ahead and get here. Right knee is bent. Left foot's touching the right thigh. Left knee's bent out to the side. Go the other way with it. But you got it. You're good. You're good. There you go. And there we go. Now right here, you kind of feel that, right? Try and get your right butt cheek to the ground. Woo! Yeah. For some, it's like, oh, I got this. And others, it's like, oh, oh I'm okay. <laughs> so just try and let that go a little bit. Push this knee back down. Ooh, don't let it rise. All right, now, shifting. You can use your weight, pushing into your heels and then up. Now balance, all belly, all core. Breathe, and then to the other side. Sweep it over, and we'll do a long sit here before we do it. Oh, a couple of repetitions of it. Feel it, so I feel it right through the hip flexor here as well. So it hits different of us in different ways and on different sides it hits different spots. So don't for an instant judge it or think it's not right. If you're not feeling it in the same place as your neighbor, they might be longer in that one muscle than you are. So just oh, get what you can. Try and get that flute down. <laughs> Lean back. Now a little quicker. Here we go. Up. Breathe. Exhale over. Inhale up. Exhale over. Inhale up, exhale over, and up, and over. Just a couple more, up. Last one to the right. Sit back into it again, breathe. Oh. Place your right hand on or behind your right foot. And you'll find the one that feels better for you. Some people are like, nope, I need it higher, and then if you can, get it lower. Turn away, lift up, arc up. Now press with your right hand down a little bit as you push up with that left elbow. Feel that stretch through your ribs and waist. You feel that kind of rotational twist and lift. And then out. Back to the balance. Good. Into the side. Find it and settle into that hip. Again, take a moment, find where does that left hand go. 
Turn and look to the right. Begin to lift the right arm. Bending of the left elbow. Feel it help support your waist and back. It kind of bends into you. Good. Push that elbow up. Right extending, left hand pressing. And let it go. <sighs> boat. Hold. Four. Rock and boat. Three. <laughs> Two. And one. Grab it. Slide yourself down a little bit. Rock your boat up. <sighs> and do it a couple times. Just lifting those hips up, getting your back nice and lengthened out. And do a little presses. Two more. And last one. Oh. Now, let your hips drop down, let your feet drop down. I'm going to turn the same direction as you guys just for the effect. It's going to be much easier to keep up with that way. So now, we're down. We take our left leg up, bring it in close to our chest. Take your left knee, hug it, and take your head toward that. Now as you're up, can you grab your left foot or ankle and then lengthen up as you bring your head back. So if you can hold the foot, hold it. You need to hold the knee or the back of the leg. You can go anywhere in between. Pull it in close to you, as close as you can. Let your back drop down. You're not trying to lift yourself off the floor right now. Your whole body's melting down. Your leg just happens to be in the air. Now exhale up, head toward leg any way you can. And then back. Take the left foot, cross it over the right knee. You're going to lift up and see those legs. You're going to take your hand right through the middle and grab the back of that right leg. We're laying back into a pigeon. Just rest here. Soften the legs a little bit. Make sure you're not squeezing your inner thigh or hip. Rock your legs side to side some. And then settle back down. Now on this round again, exhale head toward ankle. Inhale back. Now, as you let go, you let your left foot stay attached, but drop your right foot to the floor. Take your right hand up and grab that left knee and then just help it across. Take your left arm out to the side and don't lift your left arm. Try and keep your arm and shoulder down as you let the left leg cross over and touch down. So now your right leg is as close to the floor as it can be, and now you're going to let that left leg begin to spin down. So my right hand moves to the top of the leg instead of the inside of the leg, helping it twist around. Now as I'm here, my right leg softens. I'm not necessarily straightening the leg, but it's not as deeply bent. So just let the bend soften. If it wants to begin to straighten a bit, it can, but don't intentionally just straighten the leg out. You're just softening. You're not clenching, you're not holding. You're surrendering to gravity here. Let your body twist as far as it will go. <clears throat> if your right hand is helping support the left knee, let it. If you can now pull on that left knee and start bringing it closer to the ground, give it a little extra. Now without overextending yourself, some of you are not going to be able to go far with this. Don't judge it. Just accept this is where I am today. 
For all of us though, we're gonna open both hands up. So you're just taking your right hand off of your thigh and opening that hand up. Now all you're gonna do is slowly extend your left leg and walk with the foot. Kind of foot, heel toe, heel toe, pushing around. See if you can walk your left leg toward your right hand. Not everybody will get there, don't judge it. If you can get your right hand open and place your left foot in your right hand, you're welcome to try in that extended stretch. <clears throat> Again, not everybody's gonna make it here, so don't force it. Wherever you are, you are. Now look over to the left, look at that left hand and just breathe, four. See your fingertips, three, two, and one, head to neutral. Let go of the left leg. Let it slowly roll down. Let it roll over your right leg and you just roll back to your center. Take a minute, uh, walk the feet around, walk the knees in a bit. Windshield wiper your knees if you need to. And just back. Your center once again. All right, keep it simple. Bring the right knee up and just hold that knee. So as you guys do that, I'm gonna move my water out of the way. Exhale, head toward knee. And as you're there, Extend that leg up, look toward that foot, walk the hand up as far as it'll go, and then bring the head down. Breathe. Trying to extend the leg without pain or strain, just trying to extend. Remember, if you have to hold the back of the knee, there's nothing different in that stretch. It's still a stretch. As you exhale, head up as high as you can. Inhale back. Now cross right ankle over left knee. Reach up and through, grabbing the back of that left leg. Drop your head down and rest again. Now try and soften, wiggle your legs a little bit and find that place where you're not clenching that leg to be there. You're not holding tight in your butt. Gravity's holding it in place because of the crisscross and you holding of the leg, it's staying there. You're holding the left to anchor the right. So we're just here, we got one more breath. Then up, ankle, extending toward it. Try and get head toward ankle. Ugh. And then roll back. <sighs> Let the foot down. Take your left hand and grab that right leg. Take the right arm out to the side and very slowly begin that twist. First thing first, your left ankle comes down and the outside of your left leg, then your left foot hits the ground. From there, it begins to twist a little bit. Maybe you take your hand from the inside of the leg to the top of the leg. You keep letting that twist happen. Let your right arm reset if it needs to. It's anchoring you, but it's not stuck. Let your body twist. Uh -huh. Feel any release that you can get through the low back and the hips? Can you let go of your legs a little bit? Now remember, don't shrug on that right side. If your right shoulder comes up a little bit, that's okay. If you can bring your right hand a little bit down to make it feel more anchored, that's fine too. There's no real right or wrong. There's just finding your twist. Breathing. 
Feel how the knee rises as you inhale and then how you can pull it a little deeper down as you exhale. All right, we're settling in. We're extending both arms now. Left arm just turns out. And then right foot begins to walk out and up toward that left hand. It might make it, it might not. Don't judge it, just acknowledge. The greatest way to change anything in our life is acceptance, right? So if we accept where we are today, we can change it tomorrow, but we got to know where we are. Got to respect the beginning. All right, you guys are doing amazing. I know you're feeling it. Let it go slow. Let the leg roll around. Oh, let it roll you to the middle. Now, we go out to hips again if you need to. Wiggle it. Lengthen your back. Extend your legs. Soften down to where you are right now. So just take a moment and scan through your body. How does it feel different now than when you first came in the room? aware of the deep stretching that we've done and also the strengthening of our core. Think of some of the lifts that we've done. Nothing extreme today. Today was about easy, gentle flowing, just being open in union with our bodies, being in union with our breath. Finding that place where we're yoking together and becoming whole and complete. Knowing that your yoga practice will never make you a perfect being. It won't make your body perfect. It won't make your mind perfect but it will teach you more about your presence, helping you to slow down and think before you react, making sure that you are responding with an appropriate response versus an emotional reaction. Checking in with your breathing, making sure it's not being led by emotion. When we get worried or stressed, we breathe really fast and we pant. When we take time to slow down and calm our breathing, we notice how calm our mind feels. So in those moments of high stress, high energy, high anxiety, Breathe, slow down, be present. Notice what's around you, the sights, the sounds, the smells, the textures. Worry and stress will always be a part of our lives and it will always <coughs> be around us. But we do not have to get absorbed into that stress or absorb that stress into ourselves. So truly find that place for yourself to be the calm within the chaos. Be the light within the storm. Be present. Be patient.
Now very gently, I want you to bend <coughs> your knees. Bring your right hand up by your head or ear and then just roll to that right side. Soften your knees, soften your back. Soften your breath. Now very gently roll forward into your hand and elbow. Let that help you push yourself up. Slowly come up and sit for a moment and then come around to the front. All right, everybody. Take a moment here, get back into your center, <coughs> get back into your space. movements we did throughout the class tonight. We did some stuff to stretch us open. We did lunges. We did planks. We even did some nice twisting and a little bit of a back bend. So just be aware of how you move with your body in unison with it. When you inhale, that's the best time to lengthen or extend. Stand. Anytime you have to bend, twist, contort, or lift, do it with an exhale. Use the exhale to exert force. So becoming more aligned with mind and body, moving with your breath, moving with intention, Working to moving with grace. Bringing the hands to the heart. I thank you all for your presence and your practice tonight. Thank you so much for joining us on Labor Day. Being willing to be here and do some labor for yourself. And again, I honor and respect the life within each of you. Always move slow as you come up. Uh, take time for your back to be ready before you move. And thank you again.